Hey guys and welcome. I have a Keurig K150P and a Keurig K155. My Keurig K150P uh, worked great for five years. It was direct plumbed in and I'm making this video because it stopped working and I had to get a new one to replace it. It just started clicking when it turned on and um, I didn't really feel like repairing it. It's five years old. Uh, we have well water here. I figured there was probably a lot of internal parts that were caked over with all sorts of stuff. So um, just got a new K155. And this looks a little bit different. And it surprisingly is adaptable for the direct plumb kit. I started off making this video saying it wasn't, you got to modify it, but that's not the case. Let me show you why. To start off, just to clarify, the K155 is the one with the silver hood on it. Um, the K150P has a black hood, and the K150P is designed for the direct plumb tank and mechanical float valve. Um, so that's the one I had. I started with originally five years ago. Um, if you're like me and you have this unit and it, it you installed the plumb kit on it at one point and um, it was five years ago, so you totally forgot how to even take this piece off. I will show you how to do that too. Um, they're basically identical units, but slight differences. So, first off, this uh, unit right here to take off this tank. Um, really, the 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 thing is flipping it on its side. There's two screws right here. That's it. That's the only two you have to take off. Not that one. Not that one. Not this one. Just these two. Uh, with a little indents in it. Um, once you take those two screws off, the actual whole side piece here, you want to slide it up and then it essentially comes right out. So once you do that, you will notice a side compartment here with some electrical connections. And you can get to those very easily by unscrewing this bottom screw. Um, right there. There is a screw that goes in there. You just unscrew it, pop it out, and um, you just unplug that little that little connector. Now, I already did all that. I took this off and um, I put it on the new unit. This is the 155. You can see it has a silver hood on it. And um, this is where I really made, made the discovery. So basically, uh, one of the biggest differences, uh, this one has two holes in it. And when you get this, you'll notice that there's no holes here. Um, so I assumed I had to drill these out to make way for the studs on the bottom of this unit, their direct plumb kit. These studs uh, are what you unscrew on the bottom of the Keurig itself, those two screws. Um, they go to this. And I didn't want to cut these off because... Um, you know, in case I replace a Keurig again in the future. I didn't want to damage any of this. Um, this is all plastic, but I don't know exactly what type. So I figured I would just drill this out. And once I started drilling, I noticed this is just a plate. So I drilled that, but it was flat and not drilled. Once that plate comes off, you have the same exact notches that you have on the K150P. So super simple. Now that I have my notch is uncovered. I am going to set this in place and see what that looks like. So slides in, got the top piece here. Kind of have to push it in and niggle it. There you go. And that's it. So now it's essentially identical to the 150P uh, except the silver hood here. Um, I'm going to connect this guy straight to the same way it was connected before, hoping there's actually electrical run to this outlet, considering this Keurig is not designed for the direct uh, plumb kit. Um, and that's it. I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to finish doing everything I got to do, turn it on, and let you know how it goes. <laughs> 